Welcome, dear students, to week eight. In this week, we will start talking about the energy flow in the ecosystem, how the energy uh, moved from producers into consumers, and how many uh, types of uh, primary uh, producers we have, and how many uh, consumers types of consumers also we have. As we studied before, we talked about the primary producers, which is called autotrophs. That means that we are talking about plants that are responsible for production of their own food, and Product, which is our glucose and oxygen. And then we will talk about how this food will transmit it into the uh, primary and secondary consumers that eat or uh, depend on their <clears throat> on the plants to end, uh, to get their energy flow. And the second consumers, which is mostly us that, that um, provided our energy from the uh, primary uh, prim primary autotrust, which is plants, and the secondary consumer, which is us. Our learning objective for this week, we need to explain how the energy flow through an ecosystem from the primary uh, producers to the end consumers, and the ecological pyramids, which is we, uh, ecological pyramids, we are talking about the uh, the uh, energy flow during ecosystem, which is the food web and the food chain, and how to analyze the flow of this uh, of this uh, levels. Food chain and food web. What is the definition for food chain and what's the definition of the food web, how they are different from each other? When we're talking about a food chain, food chain is a series of organisms in which energy is transferred from one organism to another, which is only from one to, from A to B, that's it. In a food web, it's a network of feeding interactions, meaning that you have more than one through a both of energy and matter move. Yani when we start talking about an energy flow at uh, in the first producers, which is autotrophs, these are with a large amount of energy, then we will be tracking the amount of energy moving from one uh, uh, from one consumers to another to reach to the top of the pyramids where we have the least amount of energy. As you can see here, the food web consists of so many types of animals and uh, starting all the time from the sun that are responsible for producing the energy flow into the plants. After that, we will go to the uh, primary producers. After the primary producers, we will have types of animals that depends on the uh, plants to have their food, which they call herb herbivores. Herbivores are uh, animals that can be eaten by other type of animals, which is called carnivores. Now we have other types of uh, uh, animals like humans that they both uh, depends on meats or on uh, herbivores and carnivores. They eat both meat and uh, plants, so they call omnivores, which is they they, they eat both. Detritivores, which is other types of uh, animals, decomposes the one that depends on. Uh, dead animals that they eat dead uh, cells or dead uh, microorganism and so, uh, scavengers, which is the largest one on the top of the pyramids. This is mainly what we will talk about during this week.